संकर्षण कारण कोई गर्भोदाई चयाबिशाई शेषश्चाश कलाश निनंदाख्य राम शरण ममास्त शेषश्चाश कलाश निनंदाख्य राम शरण ममास्त शेषश्चाश कलाश नि With the object of my constant remembrance, mm. Sankarshan, Seshanag, and the Vishnus who lie in the Karan Ocean, Garba Ocean, and Ocean of Milk are his plenary portions, mm. and the portions of his plenary portions. Mm. Let that Nityananda, but be the object of my constant remembrance. The object of my constant remembrance. Mm. Mm. मायातीते व्यापी वैकुंठ लोके पूर्ण सूर्य श्री चतुर्भुह मध्ये 
रूपं दशत भाती संकर्षणाख्य तं नित्यानंद राम प्रपद्ये तं नित्यानंद राम प्रपद्ये I surrender under the lotus feet of Sri Nityananda Ram, mm. who is known as Sankarshan, mm. in the midst of the chapter of Yuha, mm. consisting of Vasudev, Sankarshan, Pradyumna, and Aniruddha. Mm. He possesses full opulences mm. and resides in Vaikuntha Loka, mm. far beyond the material creation. Mm. I surrender into that Nityananda. Huh? Huh? Maya Bhatta Dasu Sangha Sriyanga Maya Bhatta Sangha Sangha Sriyanga Siti Sakya To Karanam Bhadi Madhye Siti Sakya Karanam Bhadi Madhye Jasai Kansa Sri Puma Nadi Deva Yajai Kansa Sri Puma Nadi Deva Tang Nityananda Ramang Prabhadde I offer my full obeisances under the feet of Sri Nityananda Ram, mm. whose partial representation mm. called Karnodakashai Vishnu, mm. lying on the Karn Ocean, mm. is the original Purusha, mm. the master of the illusory energy mm. and the shelter of all the universes. Mm. Now I pay my obeisance to that Nityananda Ram. Jasyam Sansa Sri Lagarabhoda Sai Jasyam Sansa Sri Lagarabhoda Sai Janna Bhyajam Loka Sanghata Nalam Janna Bhyajam Loka Sanghata Nalam Loka Sastru Sudhika Dhamma Dhatu Loka Sastru Sudhika Dhamma Dhatu Stang Nityananda Ram Prapadde I offer my full obeisances under the feet of Nityananda Ram, mm. a partial part of whom is Garbhodakashaya Vishnu. Mm. From the navel of Garbhodakashaya Vishnu mm. sprouts the lotus mm. that is the birthplace of Brahma, the engineer of the universe. The stem of that lotus mm. is the resting place of the multitude of planets. How I pay my obeisance to that Nityananda Ram. Jasyam Sansan Saha Pura Paratma Kheelanam Jasyam Sansan Saha Paratma Kheelanam Ustha Vishnur Bhati Dugdha Dishai Ustha Vishnur Bhati Dugdha Dishai Khoni Bhartta Jatakala Sopyananta Khoni Bhartta Jatakala Sopyananta Sang Nityananda Ramang Prabhadde my respectful obeisances under the feet of Sri Nityananda Ram, mm. whose secondary part is the Vishnu mm. lying in the ocean of milk. Mm. That Kirodakashaya Vishnu mm. is a super soul mm. of all living entities and the maintainer of all the universes. Mm. Sesha Nag mm. is his further subpart. Mm. <coughs> Die. Pay my obeisances to that Nityananda Ram. Nityananda Ram ki Nityananda Ram ki Nityananda Ram ki Parama Karuna Padita Bhavana Nityananda Prabhu ki Subhavri Bhava Tiri ki Parama Karuna Prema Pradata Padita Bhavana Sri Sri Nityananda Prabhu ki Subhavri Bhava Tiri ki We have desire us of doing Kirtan of Nityananda Prabhu's 
जीवन चरित नेक्टारियम पास्ता इन सब नित्यम प्रभु देशे अस्पीशस अकेजन अपिस ओली अपियरेंस के यूरिंग नेट नेक्टारियम पास्ता इन सब नित्यम प्रभु आवर फिल्ड विल बी प्यूरिफाइड I have to speak in two languages, both Odia and English. So I request one and all to hear it attentively with an devoted mind. Mm. And if there is some, mm, let's say, language difficulty, nobody should be disgusted. disappointed and should be here presently thereby i think you get supremely merciful patita pavana nityam prabhu mercy thereby there will no difficulty on the part understanding his nectarian ah uh, pastimes so i have thought up but today and tomorrow also we will speak about nitan and prabhu and glorify about nitan prabhu sing about nitan prabhu two days so today i will speak about his boyhood pastimes that much tomorrow the rest I'll speak. Today the boy will pass by. Because today the appearance day, he just appeared. Boy, <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> to that Nityananda Ram Nityananda is anant and limited in his bala leela the boy had passed times of Nityananda his father's name was Adai Oja and his mother's name was Padmavati the name of the village he appeared in is Ekachakra Gram if you go to Navadweep you may go and visit there a few years after Nityananda's birth another son was born to Adai Oja in Padmavati they called him bunker roy in their boyhood days these two brothers played in that village of ekka chakra that you the yamuna nadi river flows close to this village in their boyhood days they were performing various leelas krishna leelas and ram leelas bunka means in three places crooked roy means radharani bunker roy means sham sundar three bangla leelas and roy radharani mixed 
That means Gora. Sham and Radharani mixed together are Gora. No, no. That, that refers to that. Mankara is the first to that. Gora. One day, these two brothers had gone to Maheshwara, the village of their maternal uncle's father. They were getting ready to enter into a jungle that was situated close to that village. Some villagers came and said, don't go there. In that village, there is a very great venomous cobra. One who goes there never returns. The cobra devours him, so don't go. But Nityananda didn't listen to them. These two brothers went into that jungle. That gate cobra was standing underneath a tamal tree. Raising his hood and hissing, he came out. Ha, ha. <laughs> yeah. But Nityananda was not at all disturbed, mm. not at all afraid. Mm. He raised his hand and said, Hey, Dusa, stupid rascal, mm. stay right there. Stay there! Yeah. Mm. Who are you? Mm. Why are you persecuting innocent animals and human beings? Mm. Nityananda Prabhu himself is Nagaraj Ananta, Ananta. the king of all snakes. Yes. So when he said to stop, mm. that great cobra stopped. Mm. Then the snake related his history from Dwarpar Yuga. The eldest son of Jitarastra, Duryodhan, was a very crooked person. He had built a house made of lac and somehow got the five Pandava brothers and their mother into that house with the intention to burn them to ashes. But Krishna Rakshadi, Krishna protected them. They escaped from that house unhurt. They were Kattriyas, but they disguised themselves as Brahmanas and they were wandering about. During that time, they came to this Ekachakra village and were staying with their mother Kunti in the house of a poor Vedic Brahman named Vedashrava. The Mahabharata mentions that at first the Pandavas were staying at a place near Ekachakra, which is now called Pandavatala. That place is still there today. Vyasadeva met the Pandavas there. He told them to stay one month in Ekachakra in the house of the Brahman named Vedashrava. Although Vedashrava was a poor Brahman, he spared half of his house for the Pandavas. While in the other half, he, his wife, their son, and one doctor were living. He was very poor. Every day he would go out and beg alms. He had nothing in his house. At that time, some demons were coming to the village and creating disturbances, eating human beings and animals. One such demon was named Bakasura. This Bakasura was terrorizing everyone in the village to stop his unexpected random attacks on the innocent people and animals. They offered to give him one human being and a quantity of food each day. In this way, he would not be troubled trying to find his meal. In exchange, he agreed not to attack any of the villagers or their animals. To provide for Bakasura's meals, the villagers would each take turns providing him one human being and a quantity of food. There were so many people in the village that each home would only have to pay this tribute once in many years. There was a schedule worked out as to who would have to go, and the village drummer would daily announce whose turn had come <clears throat> to feed Bakasura. During the time that the Pandavas were staying there, disguised as Brahmanas, four of them would go out every day to collect alms, Viksha, while the fifth one would stay at home with Mother Kunti. One day Bhima was staying back with his mother. On that day, the village drummer came, beat his drum and proclaimed, Tomorrow, the turn of Vedashrava Brahman has come from Bakasura Pali. He'll go to Bakasura. When they heard this, the Brahman and his wife felt great anxiety. They had nothing in their house, so how could they arrange to feed this demon? Somehow the Brahman got something from his bhiksha, and his wife went to her father's house and collected something. So they had enough for Bakasura's food. But the problem was that one human being had to be sent to Bakasur to eat. Who would go? There were four persons in the family. The Brahmin and his Brahmini wife, a 10-year-old son whose name was Vidyadara, and an eight-year-old daughter named Banumati. The Brahmin said, I'll go. When he said this, 
his son Vijayadara said, no, no, I'll go. When the son said this, they all cried. Hearing the sound of crying, Kunti ran there and asked them, what has happened to you? Why are you crying? They told her everything. Kunti understood, so she said, don't worry. You have only one son, but I have five sons. I'll send one. I'll send my son Bhima to him. Kunti knew how strong Bhima was, how Bhima could easily kill the demon. Don't worry, she said. You have helped us when we were in a time of misfortune. So now, in your time of distress, I must help you. Kunti called her son Bhima and said, Bhima, they are crying because their son wants to go for the food of the demon Bakasura. He should not go. You go. They have helped us when we were in calamity. Now in their moment of danger, we must help them. Bhima became very happy and said, all right, I'll go. Mm. Yeah. The food arranged for Bakasura mm. was a huge amount. Yeah. It consisted of 5,120 mounds of cooked rice. Yes. One mound equals 82 pounds. Mm. So 5,120 mounds mm. would be equal to 419,840 pounds. Rice, <laughs> yes. Then? One cartload of cake named Manda Pitta, one pair of buffalo mm. pulling the cart, and one human being. This is all his food. <laughs> all his food. <laughs> one day's food. One day's food. What <laughs> else? Yes. <laughs> Bhima said, all right, mm. very nice food for me today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, I will have enough to eat. Mm. Such a large amount of rice and a cartload of mandapita. Mm. I will eat all of this and kill the demon. Mm. Bhima was very happy. He rode on the cart, eating a mandapita, calling out, Hey, Dusta Rakshasa, <laughs> stupid rascal Rakshasa, come out, come out. Makasura came out and saw that someone was eating his food and mm. calling him names. Mm. He thought, who is this person? Mm. Makasura uprooted some very big trees mm. and threw them at Bhima. Then Bhima did the same, uprooting very big trees and throwing them back. There was very fierce fighting. Mm. At last, Bhima killed the demon. Mm. Then he prepared himself to return to his mother. Mm. He told Mother Kunti, you please stay, I am going. The other brothers are coming within a short time. I'm going to help Bhima. Seeing the marks of the cartwheels, Arjun started up the road. Halfway there, he thought, it's going to take time to get there. Bhima is facing great trouble, so what shall I do? Thinking like this, he decided to shoot his Nagapash Astra, his snake arrow. He told the snake, you go and bind up that demon, Bakasura. Arjun then resumed his way to help Bhima. On the way, Arjun met Bhima and heard from him that the demon was already killed. Arjun told Bhima, you go back to mother. I have sent this Nagapash Astra, this cobra arrow. That cobra may be moving about there. He may hurt someone, bite someone, create some disturbance. I am going there to settle him up. Arjun went there, saw the cobra and said, all right, you cobra. You stay underneath this tamal tree here. <clears throat> the cobra said, very well, I'll stay here. But how can I survive? What is my food? Make some arrangement for my food. Arjun said, don't go away from this tamal tree. If someone by chance comes to you, you can devour him. But don't go out and bother anyone. The cobra told Nitai, I have been following Arjun's instruction in that way ever since. Nittai told the cobra, you should not do this anymore. You are killing innocent animals and human beings. This is not good. You stay in this hole and don't come out. Remain inside there under this tamal tree. Don't hurt anybody. Then the cobra said, how can I survive? What will I eat? <coughs> Nityananda said, people will come to wor offer worship to you. They will offer so much food to you. Obeying the order of Nityananda Prabhu, that great cobra remained inside the hole. Then Nityananda Prabhu took off one of his kundalas, his earring, 
and put it over the mouth of the hole, covering it. So from that day, Nityananda Prabhu has had only one kundala, one earring, Eka Kundala, not two. That Kundala gradually increased in size. Now it is turned into a big block of stone and people have placed a small temple over it. That place is still there. It is known as Kundali Tala. <clears throat> people still go there and offer worship to that Nag, Cobra, and offer him much Voga. Prabhu is a pastime of his younger brother, Bunker Roy. Mm. Bunker Roy was taking care of the cultivation of the land. Mm. One day, there was a big patch of land that Hadai Oja had engaged many laborers in clearing all the weeds from. It was midday, and still the coolies had not finished the work. Mm. Bunker Roy said to them, It is noon. You might be hungry. So all of you go to your homes, take your meal, and come back in the afternoon. They all left. Then Bunker Roy, by himself, uprooted all the weeds. He cleared the whole plot of land. <clears throat> he was collecting the weeds and putting them in a big mound. When the coolies came back, they saw that this small boy, Bunker Roy, had cleared all the weeds alone. They went to his father, Hadai Pandit, and said, Pandit, by himself, your son Bunker Roy has uprooted all the weeds of that big plot of land. Now he's putting them in a big mound. Hadai Oja and many villagers came to see. When Bunker Roy saw the villagers and his father coming, he hid himself behind a big mound of weeds and disappeared. Everyone came, but they couldn't find him. Bunker Roy had already disappeared. When Mother Padmavati heard that her son had disappeared, she came running, crying. Everyone heard that Bunker Roy was gone, so all the villagers, as well as the Dai Pandit, and Mother Padmavati were all crying. Then they heard Bunker Roy speaking as an aerial voice. He said, you will never see me again in this form. On the coming Ekadasi Titi, you will find me floating in this Jamuna River in the form of Dharamurti, a wooden deity. So on that Ekadasi day, the people went there, and at the proper time, they saw a deity floating on the river. Nityananda Prabhu himself picked it up and installed him. That deity is known as Bunkim Dave, Bunkim Roy. The deity is still there today in the village of Eka Chakra. It is said that when Nityananda Prabhu disappeared, he entered into this deity. On Nityananda Prabhu's Avibhav Titi, his Transcendental Appearance Day in today. that village. Today. Mm. They have a very big festival. Festival, mm. yes. Mm. And that place is known as Kadamukhandi. Huh? Kadamukhandi. Sundara. Mm. Sankar, 
One day, by divine arrangement, a handsome sannyasi came to the home of Lord Nityananda's father, Hadai Oja, offered alms and hospitality to him. Hadai Oja was very happy to have such a guest. This sannyasi was the elder brother of Gauranga Mahaprabhu, Vishvaru. In Chaitanya Charitamrita, it is mentioned, Tabi Putra Janamila Vishvarupanam Mahagunavana Tena Baladeva Dam. After this, Jagannath Mishra got a son of the name Vishvaru, who was most powerful and highly qualified because he was an incarnation of Baladeva. Baladeva Pakasha Parama Vyomi Sankarasana Tena Vishvara Upadana Vinita Karana. The expansion of Baladeva, known as Sankarshan, <clears throat> in the spiritual world is the ingredient and immediate cause of this material ma cosmic manifestation. This Vishvaru is Mahasankarshan. He is Baladeva. In Gora Ganadesh Deepika, it is mentioned, Bhakta Surupa Nityananda Vrajayasa Sri Halayuda, Baladeva Vishvaru. Vyaha Sankarshana Mata Nityananda Avaduta say, Prakashina Sa Uchate. Nityananda is Balaram and Brajabhumi. Vishvaru is Sankarshan. <clears throat> he is a manifestation of Nityananda Avadut. So the same Balaram and Dwarpar Yuga is Nitai and Kali Yuga. Chaitanya Charitamrita mentions <clears throat> Ata Evi Prabhu Tane Bali Bhadabhai. Krishna Balarama Dui Chaitanya Nitai. Because, translation, because Mahasankarshan is the ingredient and efficient cause of the cosmic manifestation, he is present in every detail of it. Lord Chaitanya therefore called him his elder brother. The two brothers are known as Krishna and Balaram in the spiritual world, but at the present moment they are Chaitanya and Nitai. Therefore, the conclusion is that Nityananda Prabhu is the original Sankarshan, Baladev. Vishvarup, the elder brother of Mahaprabhu, never married. He left home and took sannyas. He took the name Shankara Ranyapuri. So it was that sannyasi, Vishvarup, Shankara Ranyapuri, who came to Ekachakra and became the guest of Adai Oja. Because the sannyasi cannot stay in the house, Padai Oja gave him a place to sit underneath a big banyan tree. That tree is still there today. Every day, Hadai Oja was bringing food or whatever else was the sannyasi needed. Sometimes Nityananda went with him, and sometimes Hadai Oja sent things with Nityananda. Yeah. <laughs> Sanyasiku Pradam Kale, Nityanku Sangar Nei, Sanyasi Titha Pajatun Karivaku, Bahari Kale. All right. Nityananda went with him, and sometimes the Dai Oja sent things with Nityananda. 
Seeing the beauty and sweet words of Nityananda Prabhu, the sannyasi, Shankar Ranyapuri, Vishwarup, looked at him again and again. One day, Shankar Ranyapuri thought to himself, I shall leave this place and go somewhere, and go someplace else. He called for Hidai Oja and told him, I have one thing to ask from you. I am a sannyasi and I am asking Bhiksha, you should give me what I want. Hadai said, whatever you ask, I'll give. You are a sannyasi and I am a grahasta. I must serve you. The sannyasi said, I am going out for pilgrimage to visit many holy places. I want your eldest son, Nityananda. This was the bhiksha he begged for. When Adai Oja heard this, he was so shocked in his heart. What is this sannyasi begging, he thought. He only had one son left. And because he was not willing to let Nityananda leave, he couldn't say anything. He went to his wife Padmavati and asked, this sannyasi is begging this all from me. What do you say? His chaste and devoted wife Padmavati said, whatever you do, I have no objection. I'll follow it. Then Adai Oja recalled the events of Ramayan. A similar sannyasi, Vishwamitra, came to Dasara and asked for his two sons, Ram and Lakshman. Now this sannyasi is begging my son, Nityananda. And I thought, although Dasarath was unwilling, still he gave his sons. Now the same thing is happening to me. My chaste devoted wife, Padmavati, is giving me her, her assent. So what can I do? I must give him my son. He went back to the sannyasi, Shankar Aranyapuri, with his very beloved son, Nityananda, and turned him over. Hanging down his head, Adai Oja turned and went back home. Shankar Ranyapuri went out on pilgrimage, taking Nityananda Prabhu with him. When Nityananda Prabhu left home, many inauspicious omens took place in Eka Chakra. <clears throat> Shankar Ranyapuri went out on pilgrimage, taking Nityananda with him. When Nityananda Prabhu left, many inauspicious omens took place in Eka Chakra. All the villagers became very unhappy. Adai Oja and his wife Padmavati disappeared soon after that. All the friends of Nityananda Prabhu felt very miserable. Some of them went out for pilgrimage. Some of them left home and became ascetics. Vishwarup traveled in South India, visiting holy places. Then in 1510 AD, near Pandarpur, he disappeared. He left that body and entered into the body of Nityananda Prabhu. So, this much we will read today. The next, uh, tomorrow. Mm. Mm. But now, we will read Nityananda Astaka. Nityanandastakam written by Vandavandastaku Sarachandra Bhanting, Spuradamara Kanting, Gazagating, Sarachandra Bhanting, Spuradamara Kanting, Gazagating, Hari Preman Matam, Druta Paramasatam, Smeetamukam, Sadagurna Nitram, Karakalita Vitram, Kalidam, Sadagurna Nitram, Karakalita Vitram, Kalidam, Bhaje Nityanandam, Bhadana Tarukandam, Nirabadhi, Bhaje Nityanandam, Bhadana Tarukandam, Nirabadhi, Bhaje Nityanandam, Bhadana Tarukandam, Nirabadhi, Bhaje Nityanandam, Bhadana his lotus face is as pure and splendid as the autumn moon. In fact, it excels the moon in beauty. His whole body is very wonderfully beautiful. 
Such beauty cannot be compared or found anywhere. He is like a mad elephant, and his movement is always very slow. Mm. He is maddened with Krishna Prem. Mm. He is the absolute truth. Mm. He has a very beautiful smiling face. Mm. His eyes are always rolling. Mm. He holds a staff in his hand, mm. and by the beating of that staff, he breaks the power of the age of Kali. Mm. To that Lord Nityananda, mm. who is the unlimited root of the tree of devotional service, mm. I offer my obeisances and I worship that mm. Lord Nityananda. Mm. I offer worship that Lord Nityananda, huh? who moves, who moves like, what is it? Like uh, a, a mad elephant. Like a mad elephant, isn't it? Moves intoxicated, eh? intoxicated, moves like a mad elephant, the Purusha. Duliya, duliya, chale, bahu toli, hari bole. Rasa nama dharang 
ಸದನಗಣ ಸರ್ವ ಸೋಮಾತುಳ ತದೇಕ ಪ್ರಾಣಪತಿ ಮಾ ವಸುಧನ್ನೀ ಪತಿ ಸದಾ ಪ್ರೇಮ ನಮಾದ ಪರಮ ವಿರಿತ ಮಂದ ಮನಸ Lord Nityananda is the abode of all mellows. No one can compare to him. and all the three planetary systems mm. he is a life and soul for all the devotees mm. he is a lord of janadi devi and vasudha devi mm. who consider lord nityananda more dear than life he is always in an ecstatic mood of divine love mm. maddened and intoxicated with pure love of godhead mm. the unintelligent non devotees cannot understand that he is a supreme personality of godhead himself mm. to so that lord nityananda who is the unlimited root of the tree of devotional service i pay my obeisances again and again and i worship that lord nityananda vaam karuna a padita bhavana nityananda prabhu ki ಸತೀಸ್ವನ್ ಪೃಷ್ಠ ನಿಖಿಳ ಜಗದೀಸ್ತ ಸುಖಮಯ ಕಳೌ ಮಜ್ಜೀವರಣ ಕರ್ಣಧಾಮ ಕರುಣ ಹರೇರ್ವ್ಯಾಖ್ಯೋ ನಾದವಾಭವಜಳಧಿ ಗರ್ವೋನ್ನತಿ ಹರಂ ಅರೆ ಭಾಯಿ ನಿತಾಯ ಅಮರ್ ದಯಾರ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಲಿಮಿಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮರ್ಸಿ ಅವಧಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಲಿಮಿಟ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಲಿಮಿಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮರ್ಸಿ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ದಯಾರ ಬುದ್ಧಿ Lord Nityananda is very dear to Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, mm. son of Sachi Devi. Mm. He always does good to the whole world. Mm. He is always supremely blissful. Mm. In fact, he is the embodiment of supreme happiness and blissfulness. Mm. He is so merciful, one cannot limit his mercy. Mm. He is always chanting the holy name of Lord Hari, mm. thereby showing an easy path. for crossing the ocean of materialistic existence mm. by chanting the holy name of lord hari he checks the flooding ocean of repeated birth and death mm. and delivers the souls drowning in the age of kali mm. to that lord nityananda who is the unlimited root of the tree of devotional service mm. again and again i offer my obeisances and i worship that lord nityananda prabhu mm. so all the chants and all is ನಾಮ ಪ್ರಚಾರ preaching this hare krishna naam ah is carving the pride the pride of this dreadful what's a material material ocean of existence material ocean of existence yeah carving the pride of the dreadful ocean of metals to the existence that by he says mm. 
अये भ्रात नृणं कली कलु शृणं किन्नु भविता अये तथा प्रायश्चित रचय जदनाया सदयी मे ताथं सह भगवता मंत्रयतीजो भजे निनंदम वदन तरुकंदम निरवधि भजे निनंदम वदन तरुकंदम निरवधि Lord Nityananda speaks to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu saying, "Oh brother, ah. the people will become infected with all the sins of the Kali Yuga. Mm. How will they be able to atone for these sins? Please give them some way by mm. which they will be able to easily approach you mm. and get your lotus feet." Mm. He always talks to Sri Man Mahaprabhu in this way mm. to that Lord Nityananda, mm. who is the unlimited root. of the tree of devotional service mm. over and over i offer my obeisances and i worship that lord nityananda param karuna padida bhavana nityananda prabhu ki param karuna padida bhavana prem pradada nityananda prabhu ki param karuna prem pradada padida bhavana nityananda subhavri bhava didi ki जथेष्टे भ्रात कुरु हरिहरिध्वान मनीष तथो वसंसारुधीतरण दायो मयी लगे ईद बाहुस्फोटे रटती रटयन ज प्रतिगृह भजे निनंदम वदन तरुकंदम निरवधि भजे निनंदम वदन तरुकंदम निरवधि to each house and raising his arm says oh brother mm. please constantly chant the holy name of lord hari mm. profusely chant mm. if you do this you will become free from the ocean of birth and death in the material world i assure you that this promise is true lord nityananda goes to every doorstep and says like this mm. to that lord nityananda Who is the unlimited root of the tree of devotional service? Mm-hmm. Again and again, I offer my obeisances and worship that Lord Nityananda. Mm-hmm. He goes to every doorstep, Nityananda Prabhu, and tells, "Oh my brothers, you all let chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare." Don't think of anything else. I, I would say, surety. Sure. I remain a surety, or I assure you. Surety. Very sure. I remain surety for this. He said. Yes. Warrant. Huh? I give you a like warrant. Yes. I remain surety for that. Just you. Just that. Hare Krishna. Hare. Chant very easily will cross this dreadful ocean of materialistic existence. I assure you, I remain surety for it. He said, "Let me know." Saying this, ah, Bahu has fallen for the book of Guru Guru Bhagavan Gurudev, raising his arms, saying "Hari Bol, Hari Bol." He moves like intoxicated elephant. Mad elephant, Nityan Prabhu. Ah, even saying of his son that Nityan Prabhu not a spirit. Balat sansarambu nidi harana kumbhud bhava maho. Balat sansarambu nidi harana kumbhud bhava maho. Sadan sreya sindhu nati kumda 
ബന്ധം സമുദിതം ശിമുനി who forcibly swallows the ocean of material existence he very easily destroys the simple reactions of the most sinful degraded persons kali hatu jiva he is a rising full moon that expands the ocean that is the welfare of the saintly devotees he is always doing good to the devotees he is a risen like a cooling moon that is like the soothing moonshine of millions of moons koti chandra sushitala he is a blazing sun that removes the darkness arisen from the multitudes of ignorant persons he is like the sun for them to so that lord nityananda who is the unlimited root of the tree of devotional service i offer my obeisances and i worship that lord nityananda agasti muni drank and and full of water darbai he made the all ha huh, like oceans dry up by drinking one handful of water agasti muni made the all ocean dry up that agasti muni ha huh, was born from a colos per se water pot 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 colos ha huh? so this uh, nityananda prabhu is like that hmm that means hmm nityananda prabhu hmm this uh, up drinking one handful of water agasti muni dried up the hope all oceans what does mean what do you mean by that what the purport huh this uh, material world uh, is like a dreadful ocean dreadful ocean of metal stick existence baba sagara huh agasti muni drank one handful of water and made the whole ocean on ocean dry up this purpose is that love matro sadhu sange drinking one handful of water means one just associate ha ah. one moment of association of so sadhu pure sadhu ha ah. this dreadful ocean of metal stick existence will be dried up that means that understand just drinking one handful of water he agasti muni dried up the seven oceans ha ah, that property that love matro sadhu sange ah, only associating with such pure sadhu even for a moment this dreadful ocean of metal existence will be dried up will be dried up then stand so in the sea ocean there are very dreadful ferocious aquatic animals are there <laughs> crocodiles sharks whales devourer of whales very ferocious crocodile Ah, ferocious animals are there. When the ocean will dry up, the animals will die. Yes, they cannot exist. Ocean dry up, how can they survive? Ah, if you can dry up the ocean, the animals will die. So in this dreadful ocean of material existence, 
These are ferocious animals, these are all anarchists. Kama, Krodha, Lobha, Moho, Madha, Masarya. They are ferocious animals, like crocodiles, sharks, whales, and devourer of whales. Do you understand? If you do sadhu sangha, pure sadhu, by association with pure sadhu, even for a moment, the whole ocean will dry up. This dreadful ocean will lose existence. All these ferocious animals, Kama, Krodha, Lobha, Moho, Madha, Masarya, they will die. No more. Do you understand? That is the purpose. And here Nityan Prabhu is like that, he says. Nityan Prabhu is like that, Augusti Muni. Ah, that means he gives merciful his association. Ah, if you associate with him, get his mercy, the dead pollution of metal existence will dry up. All the ferocious animals, all the repos. Six types of enemies, Kama, Krodha, Lobha, Moha, Madha, Mahasadhyo, they will all die. Hmm. Huh? That's the last thing. <laughs> Do you understand? Uh, and when sun rises, I will say moon rises, when the moon rises, the ocean becomes swelled up. Do you understand? Full moon. Rise is the waste and become shoulder. Similarly, this. Nityan the Prabhu is like full moon. Huh? Do you understand? Nityan Prabhu is like full moon. Yes. When he appeared here, huh? material world, he appeared. He's always there. Not that he's not now. He's there. He believes always. Eternally existing, that full moon, ah, then what? What ocean is swelled up? Kalyana Samudra, ah, Jiva Kalyana Samudra, doing go to the ah, suffering Jeevas, let me say. Suffering fallen conditions. Suffering fallen condition souls, eh? that doing good, that kalyana is like ocean. That ocean becomes swelled up by the rising eh? of the, the advent of an appearance of Nityan Prabhu, who is like, like a Rising full moon. Understood? My language is defective. <laughs> you give language. <laughs> I don't know language. This is what it means. Kalyana Samudra. Ocean of good fortune, yes. And he is like sun. Huh? When sun rises, the darkness huh, prevailing in this world is dissipated. Huh? Sun dissipates the darkness prevailing in the world. And Nityan Prabhu is like sun. Uh, the sun like Nityan Prabhu when rises, when he appears here in this material world, what he dissipated? Uh, Durjan Ganar Papandhagar. The sin, sinful activities like, uh, are like darkness. Durjanas, those who are rascals, sinful persons, sinners, rascals, uh, those are always engaged in the sinful activities. Huh? Those sinful activities are like dense darkness. By the rising of this sunlight, Nityananda Prabhu, huh? this darkness is dissipated, destroyed. <laughs> Understand? Is it correct language? I don't know. Yes, yes. Correct? <laughs> this is, the verse is like that. 
That means he destroys the unlimited sinful reactions of all sinful persons, nah, rising like sun. Nitya, yes. Just get his mercy. With this. In the moment he is all destroyed. Understand? Why are you worried? Nah, don't worry. He is there. ಸಾಕರುಣೃಗಂತಕಳ He travels on every path, singing, dancing, and chanting, Hari 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 Bo Hari Bo. He always casts merciful sidelong glances over his dear devotees. Mm. In this way, without considering his own interests, mm. he moves through the streets of all the towns, cities and villages, mm. casting his vision over the devotees and sadhus. Mm. To that Lord Nityananda, who is the unlimited root of the tree of devotional service, mm. I pay my obeisances and I worship that Lord Nityananda. Dharma Karuna Padila Bhavana Nityananda Prabhu Ki ಸುಭಿಭ್ರಾಣಕರ ಸರಸೀಜ ಕಮಳತರ ಮೀಥೋಪತ್ರೋಕಚ್ಚಿತ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಹೃದಯ ಭ್ರಮಂತ ಮಾಧುರ್ಜೈರ ಮದಯಂತ ಪುರಧನಾದೆ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದನ ತರುಕನ್ನವಧಿ He holds a very beautiful soft lotus hand of his brother, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Mm. And when they glance at each other's faces, their hearts became, become full of transcendental bliss. Mm. He wanders through the towns, cities and villages, mm. delighting the people with his charming sweetness, chanting of the holy name of the Lord. Mm. He always does Harinam Kirtan. Mm. I worship Lord Nityananda, mm. the unlimited root of the tree of devotional service. Mm. I pay my obeisances and I worship that Lord Nityananda. Mm. He wanders in the streets, uh, all directions, uh, all streets in all directions. the town city is villages huh? everywhere just casting his huh mercy full glance huh right yes side long mercy full glance huh and his beauty you understand which cannot be described in language and say indescribable indescribable is such beauty only botany yes indescribable cannot describe language so sweet beauty ha huh? that is like liquor and uh, one who can drink such liquor manating from such indescribable beauty divinity will become maddened next of all the uh, people maddened with the liquor manating 
form is indescribable beauty. This is language I don't know. The nice one. <laughs> yes, I don't know. <laughs> this verse is like that. And in that way he moves a wonderful way in all directions, all streets, doing this thing. Isn't it coming for hope? Paramakaruna, Padita Bhavana, Premdata, Nidai Gija! Paramakaruna, Padita Bhavana, Premdata, Nidai Gija! Paramakaruna, Premdata, Padita Bhavana, Nityanda Prabhu Gija! Nityanda Prabhu Subhapri Bhava, Tidhi Gija! Rasikavara Sadavais Navadhanam Rasagaram Saram Padita Taritaram Smaranata Param Nityananda Stakamidam Apurbam Padhatija Tadanghi Danda Suratu Nitarang Pasya Hudai Shura Vrindavan Das Thakur says Lord Nityananda is the abode of the mellows of devotional service and he is a wealth, life and soul of the pure devotees expert at relishing those mellows by reading these eight verses glorifying Lord Nityananda every day one will achieve his mercy and the two lotus feet of Lord Nityananda mm. will be revealed to him. Mm. These verses are very sweet. Mm. By remembering them, mm. the fallen souls are delivered by destroying their sinful reactions. Mm. May the two lotus feet of Lord Nityananda mm. eternally appear in the hearts of those who read these eight unprecedented transcendental verses glorifying Lord Nityananda. Nityananda Prabhu ki jai Padita Bhavana Paramakaruna Prem Pradata Nityananda Prabhu ki jai Paramakaruna Padita Bhavana Nidai ki jai Prem Pradata Nidai ki jai Paramakaruna Padita Bhavana Prem Pradata Nidai ki jai Parma Karuna, Sri Nityananda Prakash, Sri Shima, Chilagorgo, Indi Swami Maharaj, Gurudeva Ki Jai!